Hey guys, today here, back here with another video, and today's video is going to be about another unboxing video. Um, so far, all my other videos have been unboxings. Uh, I, don't, I, I don't know why. Um, we haven't caught too many fish, nothing but mackerel. You know, nobody wants to see a mackerel video. But um, yeah, so I might as well just do an unboxing video. But I got two uh, reviews. Um, probably just all be in one video, or if I feel like this video is getting long, I'm going to cut it into two different videos. And this video is going to be about the new Dio Alexa BG2500 that I got. And I'm going to show you the rod that I paired it with right after I do the review. I'm still trying to debate if I should make a second uh, video about the rod. Or I might just combine it into two videos. And this is a spinner uh, rod, the Daiwa BG2500. Can you see that? And here are all the specs. How are you backing up for? <laughs> Can I read it? Yeah. All right. So the specs are that it's it's a small the, well the reason why I bought this row is to basically catch smaller bass, some mackerel, or even baby halibut. You know, small halibut just for the fun. Um, just mainly like a, uh, a bass rod to finesse some bass rod uh, to finesse bass. Um, I did get a finesse uh, rod. Um, it's a super, super small rod. I'm not sure about the specs. I didn't read them. I think it's a three to 15, but I'll show you that later on in the video. And this is a spinner reel. It's a five to six gear ratio, and it's a 13 pound max drag. So the, the drag system uh, goes up to 13.2 pounds. Um, so about 13 pounds, which is a uh, pretty decent for the reel. It's a lot better than most bait casting reels. I'll tell you that right now. And it's a six ball bearing and one um, roller. <clears throat> I don't know what the 84 centimeter rotation is. And oh, and it's uh, 265 grams. I don't know how much that is. Is you know how much grams is in pounds? Or pounds is in two grams. I don't. That's about 265 grams. Um, from probably about a pound. And the line, I'm not too sure. You know, none of these boxes here are accurate. But if you were to fish 30 pound braid, it goes up to 100 and um, 20 yards. Um, I didn't fill it up. I, I probably went up to 110 braid, 30 pound braid. And um, I'm not sure how many yards because it's usually never accurate. It's really not. So this is how it comes in in the box. That's what I'm assuming. I already used it. Um, I'm pretty sure that this is how it comes in. You do get the little, the, the, um, the knob comes off, obviously. Um, all right. And this is a little owner manual that it comes with. You know, nobody ever reads this. Does it come with fish hooks? What is this? Oh, okay, cool. Some uh, little O-rings. Comes with like little O-rings or drag. I think little uh, drag, correct me if I'm wrong, I think these are like little dra uh, to help out your drag. I wonder if it comes with stickers. This is like the instructions on how to put it on and all that. You don't need to look at this. If you've been an experienced fisher, you don't really need to look at this. I wonder if it comes with stickers. Um, so that's basically, oh, it does come with uh, like a beware, like, so beware, what is that? Please note that grease may be visible on the surface of the reel. I don't know. So it does come with a moisture proof bag. This is to protect the moisture and the grease from corroding the reel when you do open it. Um, I believe it, it just... It doesn't come with the plastic on. I just put the plastic on because I don't know. But I know that's a moisture proof bag. And yeah, so this is how the reel comes spooled. Um, I got it pre spooled already. And you know, there's a little mackerel still on there. Um, I, do, I do clean it, so don't get me wrong. It's a nice reel. It's very tiny. It's like the, the size of my hand. Theoretically, it's the size of my hand. It's pretty small. Um, the veil is nice, is nice and smooth. The only plastic piece that I notice is that, but who cares? It's a reel. It's 
I got this retail uh, $99. Um, depending on where you go, it does vary in prices, obviously. Um, I always prefer to go to your local fishing store and buy it brand new for $99. They have to pay for the shipping fees. Um, that's what I recommend. Um, it is a DG, uh, digi gear, and I will take off the spool for you. Um, I've never took off this one. Super, super clicky drag. I like it a lot. Perfect. Okay, yeah, so that's what the... Uh, so that's what these little plastic pieces are for. If you look right here, it's like a little clear O-ring. Um, this will come off. I'm not going to mess with it because it's already pre-greased. And to be honest, I don't know how to put it back together. I'm going to be honest. Um, so that's what those little plastic pieces are for that it comes with those, those little, um, what do you call it? They're not plastic. They're or rubber. Silicone. silicone. There you go. Like those little silicone gears. That's the one that said it. It didn't want to go in the hole. <laughs> Alright, you're so inappropriate. Alright, so this is how you put it on. Um, I believe this, this is only a, a right hand retrieval only. Um, I tried putting this on through here, it didn't want to work. So I believe it's, I'm almost positive that this is a right hand retrieve. And I'm wrong. I guess this is left hand retrieval. Um, oh, it does come with anti reverse little clickers right here. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and put it back on my right hand because I'm a right hand person. Whoa. <laughs> uh, I, I usually use right hand. My girlfriend uses left hand. I don't know why. She's crazy. I'm left-handed. I do everything left-handed except for that. You don't write with your left? I do. I said I do everything with my left hand except for when I You write with your left? Yeah. I do too. It's a copycat. Copycat. <laughs> Technically I am because it's 12 days old anyway. Copy. And then it just goes on like that. You gotta make sure that this is tied right with. So I did get, so don't hate me, I did get a Shimano, but it was on sale for 76 bucks. It's a, <laughs> all right. Uh, uh, three to 16, so come over. Focus up on this. Clear. Got it. Yeah, Alrighty, and it, it is Fuji. Alrighty. <coughs> Smooth. The only thing that it doesn't tell me is oh, it's a seven foot. Alright, so it's a seven foot rod. Um, one piece, obviously, uh, with the glass eyelids. I do prefer the glass eyelids because you don't have to worry about metal uh, strafing your eye from it burning or cutting through. What is that, a Shimano? Um, it is super, super flimsy, obviously, because it's... It's super, super flimsy, so you do get a lot of whip with it. Um, I typically don't use lures at all with this. I just put a Carolina rig on it and put a piece of mackerel or squid and just finesse bass with it. Um, I do use circle hooks. Um, I, don't, I don't use anything other than circles because um, typically um, I kind of don't pay attention. I set my rod down and then a bass will come pick it up and choke on the hook and, you know, I, I have to do surgery on a bass and be careful on what I do with it. So I typically uh, typically like using circle hooks because I can just let my rod sit. Um, when I'm not paying attention, it's just gonna lip hook it automatically. Um, 
Let me know if you want to see a new tackle video. Do either. Mm-hmm. Or, yeah, girlfriend's brother um, has the bait cast. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Go. So my girlfriend's brother has the baitcast version of this, um, seven foot, I believe, or probably a little bit smaller than the seven foot, um, micro guides. I do prefer the spinner reel a lot better because it's a little bit more flimsy. Um, it's not as stiff, depending um, if you get the medium action or the um, heavy action. I did get the 30 to 60 pounds um, on it, so I do like the, I like the, I do like the bend on it. Um, it's nice and light, um, so I think that's where the graphite kicks in. The Fuji um, grips, or is it grips? Or, yeah, whatever, Fuji um, uh, seat on it. Um, overall, it's a really nice rod, I like it. It's all cork, so I'm a big cork um, handle type. I'm not a big fan of the foam or any of the wind grips uh, style. I like the cork, I like how old fashioned it looks. I like how clean the cork looks. So you could basically just scratch everything that I'm trying to say in this part of the video. Um, as you can see, I am wearing a shirt that I created. It's one of the brands that I started. Um, it's called Harbor Hooligans. Uh, me and a buddy of mine started it. Actually, my bro, uh, my girlfriend's brother is actually helping me run it um, as of right now. Um, he's a great help. Um, and yeah, um, I am currently going to college and YouTube is just another hobby that I want to do. And I've always wanted to do YouTube and also run a clothing line, you know. School isn't for any everybody. I'm going to tell you that right now. I barely graduated high school. I went to a continuation school. Um, but running a clothing line has always been a passion of mine. It's always been a dream of mine to do something on my own and something that I've created. And fishing and this is my lifestyle. I've always liked fishing. I've been a fisherman. For quite a long time now and actually starting up a clothing line in this industry um, feels amazing um, I am currently going to college and becoming a helicopter engineer I am taking classes as, as of right now it is kind of stressful and hard to do a lot of things at once and I'm very sorry that you guys haven't been seeing as much videos as possible but we are trying to upload don't get me wrong we are fishing we, we fish a lot this thing is when the uh, bite picks up trust me you guys will see a lot of videos but please show us love and support and purchase a t-shirt it really just encourages us to keep uploading to keep doing what we do and yeah um i did i did have a sponsor um i did sponsor someone um his name's dirty hookers on youtube definitely go check him out i'm not really a big youtuber um but whatever i can do to help him is amazing so if you do watch the videos definitely go check them out i'll leave his link in the description as well as his instagram um, i'm most likely not going to do the description my girlfriend will because i don't know she's she's amazing at it but thank you a lot for you guys who actually watch the videos and leave comments please leave us comments in the below and what you guys want to see next and yeah thank you adios peace